Well, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see behind me today, we've just had delivered the Ollie's Farm Smart Box. All right, so this has just been delivered today from the Midlands Machinery Show. Um, a shout out to everyone I met on that day. I had a great time. Thanks for coming over to the stand at Cherry Products to say hello. Have a look here, this is what it's like. So it's a 400 kilogram weight, as I said in, when we were at the show. And inside, we have got a 600 kilogram block inside there. So the box weighs one tons when it's fully loaded. If I shut it down, we can then put a padlock on there. There's also a set of keys here, which I can use to lock the side doors. So if I didn't want anyone to get into the side where I put my tools, for example, that's where it's all locked. And I can put some stuff in there. I can put some tools some equipment, nuts and bolts and things like that. There's another one on the other side as well. We did keep it in the yellow and black, which a lot of you guys said. The side stripes as well, in this particular color, they're also high vis, so at night, this will reflect, which I thought was quite a good idea. Um, so smart box, they're made by Cherry Products. Go and check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can have a smart box made in lots of different colors, from this one, black and yellow, to green and yellow in the John Deere spec. You can have them red and green to match your fent or class colors, whatever your machine, they can match the machine of your choice. So go and check them out. And they're a great British company, manufacturing machinery here in the UK. And it looks like Christmas is coming early this year because this is another attachment which I've uh, just acquired and it's for, well, you'll find out. What is it? What is in this package here? Okay. This is a log splitter which I've just acquired from Proforge and the idea is to obviously use it to split logs. You can see we've got the ax on the, uh, the end there, the blade. And what I'm planning on doing is cutting some logs for ourselves over winter. Yes, we've got biomass, but there's a lot of wood burners on the farm, which, is not, which are nice over Christmas time and for the holiday cottage. And also for other people, other farmers to use a log splitter, um, I'll just hire it out and they can use it when they want. So here it is. I won't be able to use this yet on the 65 because that tractor needs a double spool valve. And this has a flow and it also has a return. And then to operate the splitter, you've got these two handles here. Pull them down both at the same time to operate the splitter. Uh, Proforge 20 ton log splitter is rated for, so 20 tons of splitting force. Uh, this is the instruction manual. We've also got some warranty information in there as well. We've also got ourselves a nice warm hat to keep us warm. So maybe it's time for me to finally change my sunglasses. Summer's over now. There we go, a little bit more fitting. <laughs> maybe I'll just have both, just keep the sunglasses and just I look like Eminem now, <laughs> one of those rappers. I need to just knock it up so that it's standing up right. And now I can put this on a tractor with a flow and return spool valve and then put a piece of wood under it and just give it a test. You can also get, there is an option for a long table which you can get each side, which will come up to about here or here. And the, the idea of the table is you get more of a surface area to work on when you're splitting wood. So we've just gone for the standard 20 ton spec machine. So that's 20 tons of pressure from that hydraulic ram. on the levers. Let's go and give it a try. We'll find a piece of wood and see what it's like. Okay, well, I'm hoping this is going to be a worthwhile winter hobby at the weekends, splitting up wood and getting some wood in the shed for the wood burners. And then, like I said, also helping out some neighbors by splitting up their wood as well or letting them use the machine. So this is a nice piece of wood here I would use on an open fire. It's a fair bit of length, probably too wide for the wood burners, which are enclosed, but an open fire would be pretty good. Something like, someone like a pub or something like that or someone's front room. Once you split wood as well, it dries on average about 40 to 50% faster. So it's worthwhile doing it. So welcome to Ollie's Farm Forestry today. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Now that's what I'm talking about. I think the 
six hours, got a bit more power than the 65 in this one. <laughs> Literally the most satisfying thing in the world. No match for the Pro Tour. 20 pound loss for them. So hopefully you can see just after a couple of minutes of splitting there, we've got a nice array now of split logs and you know they're going to dry a hell of a lot quicker and they'll probably burn better as well like that. If anybody uses open fires or if you use those old log wood burners which you then open and close, you'll notice that when it with split wood it's much better. It does burn a lot, hell of a lot better. It catches the flame I've noticed better than non-split wood. So what my plan is over the winter, we've got some really big logs which sort of get left on the side and then they can't go through the chipper, we get an awful lot of them. This is a prime example, one of these here, this is a funny shaped log, it'll be a difficult one to go through the chipper. So what we'll plan to do is just split it up into lengths and then we put a slab on the splitter and just split the whole lot. And then we've got a good amount of wood there, that's probably what, 250 kilos of firewood and you can just put it away, start drying it and then you know you're well away. Nice at Christmas to have a wood burner. I don't know if anybody likes that sort of around that time of the year. Slow gin, a glass of wine or something like that and an open fire. You can't really beat it. I like the idea that it's got two handles so that in order to operate it you need to have both hands up here. From a health and safety perspective your hands aren't down here whilst the blade's coming down. They're up here which is a good idea. So it's coming down now and both my hands as you can see are out of the way. I'm standing well back. I can then do the splitting and then it can then go back up like that. And actually back down just towards the end of the farmyard we've got one of the biggest uh, beech trees you've ever seen which has just come down and I'm planning on cutting that up, putting that through the log splitter here and then we can put it in the shed and start drying it over winter and then start using it hopefully for the next season. So you know just goes to show by splitting you can then dry your wood a lot faster and in these current times at the moment with using fossil fuels something like this is actually a, a better more sustainable solution because firewood's been around for thousands and thousands of years as I'm sure a lot of you know we have the wood chip boiler biomass system on the farm that is a renewable system because you can grow trees and then you can replenish your fuel sources so it is a sustainable model um, rather than using fossil fuels so maybe things will go back to the old ways with fireplaces and a nice open fire out in the countryside. And all I have to do just to turn the splitter off is just reduce the pressure, turn it off. So if I just pull back, we will stop the pressure. I can also on this one, I can turn the pressure down a little bit. It is quite high at the moment. So if I put that down to about four, then we'll be running it at a slightly lower pressure uh, because this is obviously a 190 horsepower tractor and we'll see if it still splits as well at that pressure. I'm going to take it off just like any other implement. So we'll cut some more logs up for this upcoming weekend, this week, and then we'll get this out again and we'll try and split up enough logs to fill up the manatee bucket. Well, we're going to have fun cutting up some more wood. Hope you can see the sunset over there, just in Norfolk. That is one nice thing you do get about this part of the world, Clove. Anyway, walking through the turnips this evening. Got enough turnips there now to start feeding animals. So before long, we'll pop these, uh, pop the sheep on there. I don't know if you can see that tonight. We've got a lovely full moon just in the distance. It's a full moon, Clove. Proper job. There'll be some werewolves tonight, <laughs> if you believe in that sort of thing. And I don't know if anyone's been checking out the lamb prices recently, they are through the roof. 260p per kilogram, I believe. So uh, I might be getting into some more uh, more sheep in the future. We did have a lot of sheep back in the day. We had about 250 ewes and we sold them in 2013-14 because the prices were really bad. But now that could all change, so it might be time to get back in the sheep game. Who knows? Leave a comment about that if you think we should get some more sheep. Um, and also leave a comment about the ProForge log splitter. Thanks to ProForge, we've just got it on loan for three months and we'll see how we get on with it. And also thank you very much as well to Cherry Products for sorting us out with the Oldies Farm Smart Box. That is something I've wanted for years and years. So we finally got one. It will be on the John Deere before long. And thank you as well to everyone for supporting the channel over the last few years. It is amazing some of the things we're doing nowadays. So yeah, really, really happy with that and it'll be nice to be warm this winter with some lovely firewood and um, we're also going to be helping some other farmers out with some with some log splitting which will be good in the winter always good to keep yourself busy um, in this time of the year whether you're an arable farm or a livestock farm there's always something to do uh, so stay positive do comment rate and subscribe give this video a thumbs up and from clover and i and the farm clove you're eating some turnips we will catch you on the next one <laughs>